for some painting. Saturday afternoon Warhammer stream, my favorite. Got a little bit more gold to do on these guys, and I'm gonna go back to the Annihilators. Actually, I just have one more guy here to do the gold. Clean up my wet palette and everything, but I don't need that right now because this is just gonna be a. It's gonna be using this for the gold. A little bit of the plastic. Let's see if my camera angle is just good right off the bat. Oh my god, what is this? Excuse me? It's like a layer of goopy paint inside. The... Oh, now I'm covered in gold paint, that's great. Excellent way to start. <laughs> all good, the shit. Let's get all this goop out. This gold paint is kind of like rubber. It dries in like a weird way, this speed paint. Just cleaned up my wet palette the other day, so it's all. Uh, all ready to go for another round of painting annihilators. So I'm just gonna finish the gold on these guys, and then I'm gonna go back to the annihilators. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Gotta put quite a bit of speed paint out just to just to uh, maintain a good wet pile of it. Otherwise, it dries up real quick. That this needs to come down just a little bit here. There we go. Look at that. That's better. Is my light on? Yeah. Oh, my lights are on. Okay. Weird. And as this guy, I'm actually just not. Uh, again, not doing. Um, not doing an undercoat for the speed bank gold. Putting it straight over the base coat, which is this dark gray. It's a little bit weird, but. I can't do too many coats of metallic on these guys because they have so much gold on them. And then move that speed paint up in there. That's fine, all the edges will be highlighted, the rest of this is fine. I think I already did a little bit of this under here. I may do just a little bit more here. I want these flat parts to actually look mostly gold. This is all going to be covered anyway by uh, by highlights. Anyway, the point of speed painting is to go fast, so I'm going to start going real fast on these guys. Then let that dry, and I'll go to some white paint for the annihilator for a while, then I'll probably use whatever's left of the gray paint once I've done a bit of painting on my annihilators. Whereas the other left of the gray I take out, I'll use that on these guys and start cleaning up their, their white plates as well. Just the base coats. This is all just base coating right now. It's gonna look ugly. It's gonna look messy until I really get in and clean it up, but it's fine. It's the end result that matters, not the stages in between. I kind of want these guys done fast. A lot of this gold under here, pretty easy. A little bit out of the camera there, but no big deal. Oops. All good though. Christ. What is the camera angle here? Holy. That's a little bit better. Oh, 
all that back there is all done. A little bit of that there. Oh, now it's too close, of course. That's as good as it's gonna get, I think. It's gotta be high, but also uh, low enough that you can see what's going on and that it can zoom in on stuff. Anyway, that's fine. A little bit of this in here. It's all gonna have to get cleaned up with smaller brushes. For now, it's fine. God, I hate these ribbons. Even without the uh, weapon on, the ribbons are annoying. A little bit more in here, honestly. I just want one more thin coat of speed paint on here. Look at that looking nice and gold. Start to stir that up. Keep that paint moist. A fairly thick coat of it on here. So much gold trim on these guys. Pretty easy to clean up though, honestly. Really just slosh it over and then clean it up after when I'm doing the white base coats. That's okay, that's okay, all this is okay. All good. A little bit in here I gotta do. What do, how I do this, how I do this. Do like this. That's fine. So there's no bubbles hiding out in there, that's for sure. It's all right here. Doing this, no problem, easy. To make real good progress on these guys. These are not going to be like a complicated paint job on these guys. I'm just going to do simple gold trim, regular white paint, or I mean white plates, highlight up, highlight everything up, a few layers of highlights.
Christ, this shit is so annoying with these ribbons. I hate these ribbons. The temptation to cut them off is just stronger and stronger every time I have to paint them. It's like, do they really need all these ribbons and parchments and stuff dangling off their armor? Probably not, right? So I'll clean up all right. Some gold in here that I have to get to. It's actually going to be really inconvenient to clean this one up, but that's fine. All right, we're booming. Let's just spread this out a little bit. Get a li looking a little bit thinner here. Most important thing is just not getting bubbles in the speed paint which does happen occasionally uh, and then you gotta go clean them all up and stuff but like even here it looks like I got a few oh no that's glue that's not bubbles okay that's fine that's fine, that's fine. worried about bubbles not glue it's a weird glue line I think it's one of the ones that I didn't assemble this is one of the ones I got on eBay this guy doesn't have too much uh, too much armor thankfully All this gold shit here, all this gold shit here. Making the helmets gold on these guys just for a bit of variance. Give a bit of an interesting standout look for the retributors here. Make them look a, di a bit different from the annihilators in particular. Otherwise, this end ball looking kind of the same. Back to the neck, gold. Whatever this like neck plate thing is, you got this like golden neck plate thing. Oh, Christ, that's a little bit out. Just clean the rest of this up later. I think that's okay. I think I'll just get the gold down in there a little bit. That's fine. Then the white in the face, just these little tiny face screws here, white, and then I want it to look like it's a white helmet with gold over top. That's the aim. Oh my god. Wow, I've got so much dry gold on here. That's crazy. That's wild. I should have been cleaning my brush more in between, I guess. Anyway, it's fine. These are uh, sort of cheap synthetic brushes anyway. Let's get this out so it doesn't bubble up. Good in there. Good out there. Any other gold that I gotta do? Not really here. A little bit there. Okay. All I gotta do here is this shoulder. 
the base of his weapon in this weird plate thing here. So I think I'll just hold it by the gun here. Actually get a little bit more. Really clean that brush up. Get a little bit more gold paint out. Hopefully that will be the end of speed paints for this project. I may have to do a little bit more touching up actually. Actually I see already that I have to do a little bit more touching up, but that's fine. It's no big deal. I'm gonna get way more out than I need here. Um, Cause I'm actually gonna go over a few of the other ones real quick and touch them up. I just see already that a couple of the shoulders are a little bit, the coat's a little bit thin on the other guys. This whole hammer is gold, it's all getting washed over anyway. And I'm going to fix the blue anyways. I'm going to do like a much tighter coat on the blue to get it cleaned up. Good amount on here. A little bit around the back here so it's not uh, visible. You gotta go pretty fast with this stuff because it does dry up fairly quickly on the model and it, like this. It creates this like weird rubbery layer as it dries. Literally it's almost like a coat of rubber, yeah. Like uh, so odd. Gotta kinda like pick it off as you go. Under here, watch this as you can get. It's really, really important to do the metallics before you do too much of anything else because they do spread. I'm using these speed paints, I don't know how people do like this, unless it's really sloppy and it doesn't look that sloppy because you're using a lot of dry brushing. But see, this like slap chop paint style, and I think it just looks really sloppy in general. Maybe it's fast, but it doesn't look, I don't think it looks good, honestly. It's always obvious that they basically just like dry brush something over and then uh, use some kind of speed paint or contrast paint or whatever. That and airbrushing. I know airbrushing is really popular and stuff, but I just, I just don't think it looks as good as like actual hand blending. That's something I will never change my mind on. Airbrushing is always inferior. It might be faster, but the look is inferior to actual hand blended, hand painted models. If you're just trying to like whip stuff out fast, then maybe airbrushing is right. But if you're trying to, and maybe if you're doing big models like wings, like big, or like big robots, stuff like that, maybe airbrushing is fine for that. But I really don't believe that it looks anywhere close to as good as hand painted. Okay, let's see this. I better do the back. Just in case. Um, if I need to glue it on, it's fine. I don't think the glue will actually touch the back of this anyway. Just in case that's visible. It may actually be visible, but whatever. It is what it is. That's got to sit for a minute. I'm just going to clean up a few of these other guys while this sits. See, especially like this shoulder here. 
don't have a smooth coat there and there's a few places along the edge here where the paint is just not completely filled in so clean that up a little bit helmet's fine I think I think the legs are all okay the edges maybe a little bit there need a little bit of touch up and sometimes these shoulders things that are just on like large flat surfaces will look a little bit weird sometimes I think generally this is fine I was thinking of, I might actually think of doing this whole inner part gold maybe like this I think I like this better look like the gold is just mounted directly to the the metal which I think is a fine look on all these guys rather than trying to differentiate between the, the metals in here where it looks like it's attached I think it's make them all gold it's gonna be easier to paint and I think it'll look a little bit cleaner too oops not that though kind of gray. I really see a few places where I was sloppy when I did the initial pass at these. It's okay to be a little sloppy though when you're trying to go fast. Christ. Why does this stuff dry like rubber? It's so weird. One thing I don't like about this It dries like just thick rubber, and I don't know why. Quite annoying. Yeah, that's all fine. Let me see the rest of this. I'm pretty sure I was pretty careful with this guy. Carefulish. That's all fine. Yeah. Will be fine, honestly. All right, last thing I gotta do here. Just gotta do. I have to actually get out more paint. They can't be cleaned up later with a more precise brush. Yeah, I'm definitely liking the whole inner part being gold. Definitely a better look. Pop a few of these bubbles. <laughs> this one I'm not sure about. This one I need a bit more gold in here anyways, but I'm fixing a maybe now nah, I'm fixing to do the whole thing gold too, but I may do a jam in the middle of this one, like make that round thing like a big jam. Yeah, I may still do the moon. I might do the moon silver and then do a jam in the middle. I think that's what I'm gonna do with this guy because he's the prime. This is the prime's hammer. Some kind of glowing gem or something or crystal. 
that's definitely the angle for sure. Wish this stuff didn't leave so many bubbles, but I guess it sort of is what it is. There we go, got most of the bubbles out. Alright, last one here. Just this part. Heavy coat here. Just spread it all around in here. And all around the other side. Much gold as I can feasibly get in here and then spread. Until it's thin enough. coat there, good coat there, nice and thick. I'm just going to wipe this off and then soak a little bit of it out of these gaps because they're all going to get washed as well and wash can sometimes get a little bit thick here. That's pretty much it for me on these guys I think for now. I may go over them and clean up the shoulder plates a little bit more and stuff like that in some of the wider areas, but I think generally they're fine. I'll wash over most of this stuff so you won't even you wouldn't notice if there was like a little bit of a, a gap. It's all gonna get earth shade over it. Uh, let's put that back. Now I think I'm moving these guys off for the time being while they dry and I'm gonna start chipping away on the annihilators again. So they got some base coating done, and now the annihilator is coming out for finishing highlights. Get started on that. I uh, may come back to the retributors in a bit um, once I've had enough of the annihilators because I got to put some gray on them as well. I got to do the gray base coats as well. Got so many brushes and tools and shit here. Give me a second. Oh my god. Brushes, sculpting tools, everything. Absolute mess over here. Alright. One annihilator. Break out the good brushes here. We'll bring the palette into view here so you can see it. Ooh, brushes are I'll try not to knock my whole setup over. One second. I'll try and get this angled a bit better so it's always in view. There we go. Just a tad more this way and then pull the palette back. I think that's a pretty good view. I think that's a good angle right there, yeah. Dirty paper towels all over the place, all caked in paint. So, got the sable hair brushes. Uh, we're back to white armor, so we have a few colors that we're going to use here. We've got bold titanium white, transparent white, bright neutral gray, all pro acrylic. And just in case I need to clean up any of the shading or the black lining, we got coal black and dark warm gray here. And those are all the colors I'm going to use from this point forward because these guys are effectively done except for the white armor. The hammer's all done. If this could ever zoom in properly. There it is. Look at that. Nice glowing hammers, cool lightning shoulders. Fun models.
not too much gray. Old titanium white. And then I just gotta figure out where I'm starting. I think I'm gonna start on the hip plates because they're kind of nice and easy. They don't require a lot of thought. Bright neutral gray, bold titanium white, transparent white. Yo, what up, what up, what up? How it do? Uh, okay, I'll just get a transparent white out now. It's fine. Let it thin out a little bit. Doesn't need much more than that. Ready for some uh, big excitement, big uh, exciting painting, you know? Riveting ASMR action. Heavily improved camera angles and everything. Oh god, he's dusty. God, there's dust. Get it off. You son of a bitch. Fucking dust. It's so dusty in here. How do I... Whatever. A little bit of dust in the end of the world. I'd prefer if there was not a fleck of dust in my paint. It's all good. Oh, come on, I can get you. Okay. Nope. I need to get this. Holy, it's dusty, dude. The carpet curse. A curse plagued by carpets everywhere I go. Dust factories. Okay. Ah, let me look at these and just let me think about how I'm going to do this first. Big leg plates. Is, there, is that dust in there too? Yeah, that was a little bit of red dust. That chest plate's done. I already did a chest plate on this guy. Um, the edge. And then the top will be a little bit less. So I think this is wet blend towards the bottom. So, like right down the middle maybe and then out towards the edges like that, like a T is the angle here. Keep it nice and wet and then a bit of gray here, also nice and wet and then I just start blending it up like this. It's gonna need more white actually. Something like this isn't probably not going to be a super precise highlight, but kind of is what it is. Pull some of this paint up into the blend as well. But weird. Then I'll go over it with the white again, like following the actual groove of the highlight that I want. Like this. Like this, like this this and up towards the center like so and like this here these ones I'm never quite sure quite what to do with but I guess they want this blend to be somewhere in between the white and the gray and then you can glaze it up to the white in the middle. Same with this here. Although I wish I had a little bit more white coming up the middle there. Like this. Keep it wet and then just go like this. Big white streak there and then here and then here and then down this side as well. And then up this edge as well because it's kind of on the outside. Just like that, and then just like that, and just like that. Okay, I'll let that dry. And maybe just spread that out just a little bit so it's a little bit thinner up there. 
near the top. I'm gonna have to get in there with the gray anyway. Yeah, all right, we'll start with that. Probably the same. This one's gonna be kind of like diagonal because it's kind of covered by his hand. So we get a little bit up there where the light's shining through and there's gonna be like a strange diagonal sort of um, spot. Oh. Reach my shoulder, Ch shake on these paints here. I have a tendency to take out way more black than I need. I really do not need very much of this coal black. I seem to slightly touch up one of the the lines here. Uh, right along here. There. And here as well. I may actually just water that down a little, thin it down, and then just do this. And this, and then just a little bit up in the top as well. I'm never sure if I should just if I should like black line all of the gaps between the gold and the white. I think it probably looks better if it's all properly black lined, but a lot of times I feel like it just takes too long to do that. That's okay. I'll just do these ones honestly. It may look a little bit weird if only the two hip plates are black lined, but that's fine. But for now, that's fine. It's like a wash. Okay. I'll do this here too. This is psh, 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 like diagonally, kind of like a slanted sort of bit of water there. Really moisten that up to. Dust and then my brush, classic. The dusty brush curse. So this one, I think I just go like this. Get more moisture. Yes, you want to keep the paint real moist while you're doing this because. There, a little bit up here, like this. Start with that. Bit of a rough wet blend there, and then uh, not completely smooth, but I can always.
correct that a little bit later. I think it looks fairly good for now. A little bit more white up there just so it looks like it's uh, coming through that gap in his hands a bit. All right. Actually, maybe even just a little bit more over here as well. There we go. Another thing I gotta do here. Maybe I'll just do a bunch of the wet blends now and then work my way. Work my way down to the glazing. At least the front, all the front wet blends. There. These little things are really annoying. They're like very triangular and it's very easy to make them just look like a garbled mess. Because they're kind of just like perfect little triangles. Call them that for now, and then I'll, uh, I'll clean them up a little bit. Is that choppy? Uh, why is it choppy? I don't have anything running in the background. Do I have the internet running? I mean, my lap, my wow, that's hella choppy. All I have is the IP webcam running. Is the Riot Clan trying to open up again? No, it's not. Damn, bro, I got no idea. Yeah, it's a little bit choppy. It's not too bad though. this just get a little bit of this here so first thing I want to do is actually glaze out the gray by the edges like up at the top here around the edge here it's a little bit too moist drive the brush a little bit there get in there get in there First glaze out to the edges a little bit. And then we'll come back in with uh, proper white. To get the highlights looking clean. that we work our way down here towards the center now center and the bottom especially So a little diagonal brush strokes down here. Just gonna come from both sides. I've always kind of struggled with these parts, these like hip, uh, whatever they are, hip plates. this like this trying to scrape the dust off with my little dust scraping tool
aka the small exacto knife. Work our way over here. Pretty much want these ones like always lighter towards the bottom because I think they would be sort of blocked by his hands in theory. Like this, bring it down. Oh, for fuck's sake. Wait a second here. Okay, mostly fine. Got a little bit on the gold there. It's being a little sloppy. There we go. Really don't like these edges here that I got going on with the the blend. Just clean that up just a little bit. And clean that up a little bit. Move the gray up towards the top where it would be sort of shaded by the weapon handle and by his hand. Oh man, it's hella blurry, yeah. Jesus. This needs like an actual highlight here though. I pretty much have to do it like this. I think it's the only way I can actually get the angle right where I can actually see it. Highlight it down towards the bottom and then towards this edge. Keep making that brighter. I want this whole highlight section to basically look white. And then just keep the gray up near the top. Along the edge here. These leg plates are annoying. I literally never know what shape to make the highlights on these because they're just like rectangular. I'm trying to keep it towards the center, but they give me a lot of trouble. Okay, I think I'm almost there with this one. Okay, yeah, it's looking all right there. Going out towards this edge as well. Almost like a triangular highlight, but then just out towards the edge like that. Real fine. Thin, thin, thin layers. Like the absolute thickest layer of white I can get for this middle highlight because I don't want it to look uneven. Center highlight, especially down here towards these edges like this, these need to be like super thick. 
towards the bottom edge and then up here along this edge as well because this is going to be basically like a a strong edge highlight along the back like this There we go. Hey, let's come together. I'm going to try to even these out just a little bit. These blends are not smooth yet. What I'm going to do here now is cake this in transparent white once this dries. I'll let it dry for a minute and then maybe I'll just start on this side a little bit. This will just be like solid white. As that goes, I'll start to uh, I'll start to glaze that. This one's real awkward to get uh, the brush into, honestly. Not that easy to get to, for sure. Clean that out a little bit and highlight here as well. Or, uh, sorry, glaze this to smooth it out here. Smoothing it out a bit though. Definitely smoothing it out a bit.
very focused on this, so I'm not talking too much. Yeah, it's not very good, honestly. Yeah. Not very good, that's for sure. Uh, it's normally not this choppy. I think my phone's low on battery. That's probably like one of the reasons. If my phone is not so low on battery, it's it's better. But I do need. I just need to get a real camera. I think that's the trick. I think anytime you're using a phone as a webcam, it's not not ideal. Turns out phones aren't the best webcams. Yeah, I don't think so. It's a local. It's a local host thing. It's not like it's like some kind of web service or something. It just runs a local host server that streams to your computer. So either the network, local network could be overloaded, but it shouldn't be that, honestly, because I'm not streaming down anywhere. Increase my browser process priority. Let's see. Yeah, it's definitely an IP webcam that's chunking. Yeah, I'll try. Browser priority. Okay, what is using the most CPU right now? They totally changed the task manager. Where's details? Details, there we go. Why is there 50 chrome.exes running? Excuse me? Should only be one that's actually active. Let's try it, let's see. I probably need to restart my laptop too, honestly. To hand, bro, that is so chunky. What? This is like unreasonably chunky. I'm gonna kill Chrome and just boot it back up in a second. I just wanna, um, bro, armory crate interface control. No, dude, no, no armory crate. The only things that are actually using resources are. Okay, why is Microsoft Edge always running? You know, sometimes I end task and then Microsoft Edge just fires itself back open for no reason. Excuse me. Uh, I gotta find the right. 192.168.1. Zero seven eighty eighty one nine two one six eight dot one dot zero seven port eighty eighty should be right here. Oh dot one dot sixty seven, sorry. Yeah. That's better. Stream, let's pick it up again. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Yeah, maybe I just need to restart my browser. It's a little bit slow, but whatever. Is what it is.
just go pick a bunch of actual paint there. If I had a million dollars, I would have a real camera set up. Um, Thick little coat there. Oh yeah, it's all through my laptop. Tarkov's through my desktop. Tarkov, because that's where I'm, I'm playing. I mean, this is just my laptop, yeah. I need to just buy like an autofocus webcam that I can plug into my laptop. It's just that um, problem right now, the webcam I have it doesn't have autofocus. So it, it's just no good for painting because you need to be able to focus at different zoom levels, stuff like that. Otherwise, I just use my regular webcam, but. No, it's a, it like it's a fifty dollar webcam. I didn't even think about um, I didn't really think about autofocus when I bought it. It was like fifty bucks. It's just like kind of a cheap webcam. It was better than the one I had, but I didn't think about the fact that it might would need autofocus. Otherwise, it, there was one that I could have got that would have been like a hundred bucks. It would have had an autofocus, but it doesn't really matter, honestly. Oh, then she sorted out. For now, this is fine. It's like a little bit choppy, but. As long as I don't move too much or too suddenly, I think it's fine. Most of the stuff it needs to pick up is like very fine movement. These ones I really struggle with. These leg plates are like really annoying. I like things that are round. These like weird square yet still kind of round the leg plates like really odd. And I'm not gonna do too much more on these. Oh, for gaming, it's fine, yeah. It's still at the highest resolution. I notice when I, like, zoom in, like, when I make YouTube shorts, like, when I need to, like, crop it, basically, like, do the crop and zoom, it, it's definitely not, like, a great resolution.
then I'm actually just gonna this one is not getting like a weird highlight this is just getting white This one's totally fine, I think, actually. The only thing I need to do up here is just do a little bit of touching up here. Just on that black lining there. And up here, this needs to look a little bit more gray. Almost like it's like being cut off by the uh, by the weapon. There we go. Smooth out a little. That's good. That's fine. These ones don't need to be super perfect. But now this, I'm just gonna. Totally smooth this out with transparent white. Christ, transparent white gets everywhere. that edge anyway, I kind of screwed that one up, but it's fine. Jeez, one of the bristles of my brush broke off, that's what's going on there. Now I just smooth this down a little bit towards the edge. A bit of water, and I think we call that one a day. And same with this one up here. A bit of water, a bit of transparent white, nice smooth. Uh, fake smooth transition there. Fake smooth blend with this nice gooey transparent paint. There we go. Looks fine, honestly. These leg plates are kind of meh. They're kind of hidden anyway. Alright. Okay, those are good. Edges look fine. All I really need to do is this. Just edge highlight that corner. Like the edge of that leg plate, I mean. 
There we go. Bottom's fine. Yep. Cool. Alright, couple leg plates there done. This I can just do right now. Uh, first, actually, let's not do that quite yet. Let's do this first. Just clean up that belt a little bit. here I'm out of that right along here we're just gonna run the edge of this nice white highlight there A lot of these like sort of simpler highlights you can just do in one shot basically like like these these don't need to be blended so I just do the underside of them like this so the inner edge and the underside I still got too much paint on my brush uh, paint's getting super thinned out from being on the wet palette, so it's kind of starting to run up my brush a little. You never want to get the paint into the metal part of your brush, into the ferrule, because it screws up the brush. It'll dry in there and then splay the bristles. This is real finicky here. These little ab things, especially because I've already done the gold on the belt buckle. So I don't want to screw that up. And I really don't want to screw up the handle on the weapon because that's also completely done. Pretty happy with that. Just a little edge highlight on those. Simple simple white edge highlight. Now I have to do the inner ones which are even trickier. Let's see if I can get these from the top but I'm not sure. Is this thing even in the camera? No it's not. All right let's hold this over here. I think just a little white dot there. A little white dot there. Mm, a little bit more white there. Oh god. I have too much paint on the brush. It's like this has to be like the tiniest little white dot here. Mm, that's fine, I guess. I may try and just do a little bit. more there like that and just a little bit on the outside here as well this gets into the realm of like what is and isn't necessary for edge highlighting but I like to do those little like ab plates real crisp the white bolts under here And light up in there. But not necessarily all the way up. This one I just like to do the bottom edge like that and then. I 
Eh. I've done those better. I'll get in here with the gray and just touch that up a little bit. Clean up that line under the chest anyway. The line's a little bit rough under there. Nice clean shadow. Then I'll just redo the bolts here. Perfect. Okay. Okay, that's good. Up a little bit more, and then a little more of this here. There we go. there I think I'm actually just gonna edge highlight these this time I blended these last time but I I don't think they need the proper like full blends these uh weird uh, edge plate things here. They do need is for me not to just totally flood those little like vent things with uh, white paint though. That would be nice, but I guess that's not gonna happen. Hmm, maybe we'll see. Maybe I'll do a, maybe I'll try the transparent white as just the actual kind of fake out the blended look there with a nice thick coat of transparent white. A more thick coat of transparent white maybe? make it look a little bit uh, highlighted but without actually having to do all the work. That looks okay. Gotta fake it wherever you can, you know. This is all just experimentation. See what works, see what doesn't.
takes like quite a bit of this stuff to actually build up a good thick layer though. Yeah, that's a pretty good way to do this too. I don't mind that at all. These little tiny plates that are just kind of awkward to blend. Maybe the transparent white on its own without doing any type of blending is the way to go. That's pretty good. All right, sick. Coming along. Whew. Um, next is like these plates. I kind of just work my way around in like various layers. I have to get a little bit of white in. You know what? Maybe I won't. I'm actually not even gonna do that in there. This I, I do have to get a bit of gray in there. One thing I have to do real quick before I forget to do it because I know I'll forget to do this is clean up the. I actually just got a little bit of blob of white on one of his gold knee plates, but luckily it's just on a point that would have like a top highlight anyway. So I just need a tiny little bit of gold here. Almost unnoticeable. That's bright gold, Pro Acryl bright gold. Anyway, I just top that off there. And I think I did a little bit here as well. I don't like doing this silver. I find it like um, people say like, oh, like highlight the top of gold with silver, you know, like the highest points of gold with silver. But I just don't like the way it looks. I find it looks like muddy or something. Not muddy, you just you get like too many different shades in your metallics. If it's gold, I just want it to be gold. Nice and clean and simple. I don't care that much about realism. I don't want to have these little silver dots all over it. I'd rather things look kind of clean. It's fun like having your metallics all covered in silver dots that are supposed to be like the highest highlights. Just it, it never really looks actually realistic and it just makes the metallics look kind of dirty or something. Look, look a little scuffed or something, you know? I don't know. Gotta clean this up a little bit. The gray on here was not super smooth. Before I start on this, I just want to smooth that gray out a little bit. This one's not so bad. Just a few little small patches here that I'm gonna smooth out. I don't know why I'm using that like literal tiniest brush for this, but it is what it is. Smooth my gray out a bit. Get some water here one second. Oh yeah. Oh man. Hunching too much. My back's getting sore here. I'm gonna go back to the retributors for a bit. A little break. These guys looking ugly right now, but I got a lot of this gray paint out right now, and I want to start. Uh, I want to start base coating the gray. Let's see if I have a better synthetic brush here for base coating. Something pointy, like this one maybe. Mm, even that's maybe a little bit too big. Yeah, this looks fine.
see this brush. Synthetic ones are pretty good. I think they're just like a cheap Amazon bottle, but they're uh, get them a bit. Got them for Christmas. Basically, just gonna start doing some rough, uh, rough base coats on these guys because I want to see how things are all gonna come together. Not too rough, but uh, I want to be actually a little bit careful now. Now that I got a lot of the base colors down, it's time to start like actually making the edges look a little bit cleaner, stuff like that. Or start being more careful about clean edges as I go. Some stuff I can clean up, like if I get a little white back on the gold, it's no big deal because that's getting earth shaded anyway. Those are all going to be kind of, if not black lined at the very least, like washed. Yeah, I just want to get a sense of how they're going to look because they got so much gold trim, I can't even tell. Normally with these uh, Knights Excelsior, I know how they're going to look, but these are the first Retributors that I've actually painted, so... And the first Stormcast have this level of gold trim, too. Except maybe the the Lord of Relictor had a lot of gold trim on him, too. These ones, though, I don't want to get on the gold. Now, because I've already done it. I'm using the speed paints. I don't know. I'll start stacking layers and layers and layers of speed paint on. I don't know. If, oh, I'm totally out of there. Ah, uh, yeah. Let me try. I'll try and get a better focus. Sorry, I'm using my phone, so I don't have a very good camera. Um, let's see if I can get a little further out here. I think it'll be less blurred if I have a bit of a higher angle, and maybe you'll be able to see more. Because a lot of times I just end up pulling the camera out of the. Uh, or should I pull the model out of the out of the camera? How's that? Is that a little bit better? I can get a little bit closer here and get a little bit more light on it so the camera may... A little bit better. Focus. There we go, that's a little bit better. Yeah, I'll try and I'll try and pay attention to that. I'm not used to like looking over at the screen to check for angles and see this is another problem is that I like end up always pulling the uh, end up pulling the model back like this. I get it close to me and then I pull like back out of the camera. So I'm trying to get like a better view of it, but I think that's okay there. Anyway, yeah, these are just base coats of uh, bright neutral gray. I always start with gray for the white armor. It's a fairly light gray. A lot of the shadowing, I do like a darker gray. But for these like flat plates, I just start with this bright gray. These plates are almost all probably going to take two coats of gray though because it doesn't cover super thick. I do sort of a dark base coat. I do this like dark gray base coat or prime, primer or whatever, but the, it makes some things easier. Like I don't need to worry about shadows as much and stuff like that, but it makes the um, actual plates take a few base coats. Which is inconvenient. Try and keep it from blurring too much. I eventually want to get a better camera because right now I've got this like IP webcam app that I use and I'm just using my phone as like a painting camera because it's the only camera I have with autofocus right now. Sure, sure. Screw those rocks up too too much. Clean up the 
backs of these legs as well. First few coats are always messy when I'm doing these, but uh, as I move to smaller and smaller brushes, I try and get cleaner and cleaner edges. These ribbons. I hate the ribbons on their backpacks, the, uh, the parchments. <laughs> I shouldn't have attached them, but I was just being like, eh. Being like, not like lazy, but just like, I was like, man, I just want to build them. I just want to want to finish building them. I don't want to have to deal with like parts floating around and stuff like that. But they make it really hard to get into some of these details, that's for sure. Anyway, this stuff, as I go down to a smaller and smaller brush, it will uh, clean the edges up more and more. You can get tighter and tighter lines on the edges as I go. These. I think I'm not going to go too close to the leather there. But the leather, I mean the leather's got a few more layers too. I'll have to clean up the leather as well. Because it needs to get washed and then I need to do probably two layers of highlights on the leather. For these guys. More than two, it starts to take too long. One, two, three, four. Oh Christ, I'm not gonna do that with this brush. Under the shoulder, I gotta do the smaller brush, but uh, I'll come back to that. I'm gonna do this with this brush, though. Wrists will be white. Oop, a little bit out of the camera there. smaller brush for this edge here. Alright, good rough base coat there. stuff world. Keep my sable brushes over here and keep them nice and clean.
Do a little bit under here too. As I go, I'll start to get a better and better sense of how the edges will fit together and stuff on these. Um, but like just how to paint them, I guess. What angles to hold that model at, stuff like that. So I've done a few of them. Under here, gotta do the hands. A lot of this stuff is going to be black line, so I'll have to do like two or three different passes on these to uh, do the black lining and then clean up all the lines. They'll end up looking like the annihilators. Like with a lot of these tight black lines in here and stuff. I'm not sure if that was actually in the camera or not. supposed to do with this oof this is not that easy again mostly because of the parts and so I'm actually not gonna use this brush I'm gonna use a smaller brush here And I'm using the sable brushes for this. See the part I'm painting there. This is just the first coat. Yeah, that's fine for now. Even smaller brush, honestly. A strange leg plate, odd shape to it, to the trim. Yeah, well, I got that a little bit messed up, but that's fine. Yeah, sure, give me like 10 minutes. Or five or something. Oh, yeah, sure, okay, give me five minutes to just wrap it up. I'm just gonna wrap up what I'm doing, and then I'll cook. Yeah. All right, I just got one more leg plate to do here, and then I'm gonna make dinner. Finish the hand, finish the wrist, and then I'll uh, just do this last leg plate, and then I'll uh, probably shut the stream down. Oh. Alrighty, leg plate here.
this one's kind of awkward because of the lightning, but. I'll fix the lightning with like a real tiny brush later. <laughs> Or more like I'll do that part in there. The weird lightning hammer thing. I guess that's literally a lightning hammer. Because that is the kind of weapon that these guys use. A thunder hammer? Thunder hammer? Lightning hammer? I don't remember. I'll read Soul Wars again. They don't let you forget what any of the uh, copyrighted names for their stuff is when you read the, the Warhammer novels, that's for sure. Pretty sure they said Warding Lantern about a hundred times in Soul Wars. Get in there a little bit. Okay, tiny brush. A few more brush strokes here, and then I'll be uh, then I'll be done. Just gotta doodle this thing a little bit. Definitely have to clean this up later, but with that, there's like part of a base coat on this guy of white. I think these guys are gonna look pretty cool. I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave the helmets gold. I may actually just put all the helmets back to white. We'll see. Make the helmet totally white, but yeah, I haven't decided yet. See how it goes. Anyways, oh, sorry, there's the actual. Let me just get one more focus shot of that. Maybe that'll make a good thumbnail. Who knows? Anyways, I'm going for dinner. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, hit the follow button. I'll, uh, yeah, I might be back later. I try and stream every day on weekdays and then the weekends sometimes just if I feel like it. Cool, later.